Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Mirror Neuron which means watch and learn and today I'm going to share with you a second notation which is very commonly used and it will appear almost in every article uh, related to data science or in that for that matter any mathematical article. Okay, so before we jump on to the notation, let me quickly describe why do we need such complex and you know weird looking <laughs> mathematical notation. The the idea is to concisely explain a you know long explanation or something. So for example, say I have spent two years on a data science research and now I want to publish a paper, but I have limitations that you know I have to publish the paper in five or ten pages max right and if I have to put all my research detail in a five to ten pages then you can understand that we have to use some shortcuts and some acronyms and some notations and that is where this mathematical notations comes into play and once you become familiar I believe you will also enjoy it very much and use it in your day-to-day -day, you know data science journey all right so today's notation is based on what we have already seen in our first video which is a real number right and the notation was a function f which takes some value which is a real number and then uh, once you do some operation it gives us a real number back and that real number is represented using a uh, Greek letter actually which is R alright so what is the today's notation is based on that only okay the concept is vectors and matrices okay so we already know what vectors are so for example say if I want to represent a age field then I'm going to describe it using a vector okay so vector is nothing but a list of numbers and we will see in our future videos that why considering uh, a list of number as vectors is going to actually help us in solve many problems and for that we will take a geometrical approach and we'll discuss much more in depth later okay but for now let's consider a vector is just a list of numbers all right now say age is a uh, data that we have and we are calling it using a small x or the word age and it has four elements all right and if you realize all the four values are real numbers right so if I have to re, uh, you know mention this in a not uh, in a mathematical notation then what I'm going to say is this field x or this vector x contains real number and how many are there in this case there are four which is also called as dimension so n the uh, the, the the character n you see at the exponential place is also called the dimension so basically this is a four dimension vector so if I have to mention this in a mathematical way then I would say X belongs to a real number which has four elements and that would be given by X belongs to R to the power of four right and if I have to generalize it then I'm going to say X contains all real numbers and N can take any value right so if I had hundred values then R to the power 100 would have been the notation and so on so it's very simple you see and very straightforward now what if I take many vectors together and I stack them you know one next to each other then what I'm going to get is basically a matrix right and typically uh, a vector would be represented using small alphabets but usually bold and whereas a matrix will be represented by a capital letter alphabet and usually they'll be bold right so here you can see I have stacked uh, next to each other three vectors basically so one we have the time vector then we have the age vector and then we have the salary vector this could be part of a you know some data that we might be working and it would look probably we'll have more and more columns and more and more rows but in this case we have four rows and three columns okay so usually this is how a matrix is represented but here we need to understand this symbol that you will most often see almost everywhere in all the research article or all the you know data science article is a belongs to r to the power m by n and this representation means that all the elements in the matrix a so in this case if you realize how many rows do we have we have four rows how many columns do we have we have three so how many values do we have it's 4 into 3 which is 12 so in plain English we are going to say matrix A has 12 elements and all those 12 elements are actually real numbers 
if it is something else then we'll specify it that way right so it is represented mathematically like a belongs to r to the power m by n this m by n again in context to matrix will also be called as a dimension so r to the power m by n all right and as simple or straightforward it could be it just means you know a matrix has certain elements and all the values of those elements are real number and that is how you are going to represent it so instead of giving this long speech you can just use these four or five characters and you're going you're good to go typically mathematical notations you'll see mostly in you know uh, in, in textual form people don't talk this way <laughs> right so that's one uh, small caveat there all right i hope uh, you know uh, as we keep looking into the series you know gradually these building blocks will help you in reading many research papers uh, machine learning articles and so on because at one point of time you will not find online courses or you will not find uh, you know textbook which will give you the state of the art uh, machine learning concepts and tools you will have to read research paper and without this mathematical notations you will not be able to progress any further and that is the whole intention behind creating this series i hope you liked it and please do subscribe and support us so that we can continue creating this uh, useful videos for you also i have put some interesting course which such as you know math for machine learning or differential equations which are like the building blocks in making a career in data science do check them out and let me know what you think till then you take care and i'll come back to you with the mathematical notation 3 until then have a great day